All right, new bees, I've been sent to babysit you. First things first, put the fucking kettle on, I need a cover. Where did the others go? The OG said they had some time to kill, so they're seeing their family. I'm here to babysit the rest of you, because frankly, do you think Kieran's gonna be good at that? Nah. He's not even here. Oh, and yeah, good to see you too, Curtis. Where is Kieran anyway? Kieran just went out for chips, though. I think you mean crisps? That's what they call them here. Either way, it's just you newbies and a couple of old soldiers, eh? Anyways, we were just talking about that Drevi attack from last week. Yeah, I remember. It must be tough when you're here and not on Terra Prime where things were different, but that was your way of life. It can be. It can sometimes feel like... Like I'm guilty, because... I know I didn't run away, but it feels like I did. I hate to think of Leo and Ray and... Rory and the rest of them risking their lives, yet I ran away. Hey, you're going to be fine. But getting back to that Drevi thing, you really didn't have to hit them that hard. They're Drevi bastards. How many people have died because of them? Besides, they've gone back to Drevi's now. Now on to more important matters. Which is? We've got ice lollies. Tropical flavors? One one. Oh, hell to the yes, gimme! Good catch. Mm. <laughs> That's better. So, about my proposal... No, Parker. John won't allow it. Come on, it's a fantastic opportunity. What would I get out of it? The satisfaction that the Freedom Fighters of Terra Prime funded me. To give them working Dalek shells. Why do you want this, anyways? It'll boost my creativity. You're a member of Delta. You're not a soldier. Not anymore. Besides, Curtis is right. John... Would definitely say no. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Rory, but that you couldn't do it, didn't he? What? No. Yes. Maybe. Absolutely ridiculous. Think of all the possibilities. Defense. Fun. I said no. Ugh, fine. Okay, the coffee's probably cool enough to pick up. Ouch. <laughs> Oh no. Oh for fuck's sake, did I just blow out the power? Hello? Yo, Curtis, did one of you assholes cut the power? Maybe. Fuck's sake. What do we do? Where are you? In one of the communal rooms. Right. Let me call first there. Hello? Ah, uh, Mr. Jones. I hope you don't mind, but my voice has been fucked. And now I sound like a posh cunt. Further, the new recruits have got themselves locked in Space Fleet. Jason's busy. Could you lend me a hand? Nah. They are fucked cats. What do you mean? Jason got that place kitted out with new security from Norman Hayes. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. We're fucked. What happens now? There are two ways we can go here. A not great one, or a really, really bad one. What? Well, that doesn't mean anything. But that does. Curtis. What's going on? According to Kieran, Jason got Norman Hayes to do security in here. Right, so... That Norman guy fucked us because of his crazy security shit? Everything Norman installed was to protect from external attacks, apart from one. Go on. In the event of an attack from the inside, the building locks down and makes it impossible to escape. And by shorting out the coffee machine and tripping all of the power? You've activated a lock-in. Yes. So you're telling me that I'm trapped in the Home Alone house on steroids? In essence, yes. Can we get out of it? 
It'll be difficult, but yeah, we need to get to the fuse box. Right. Let's get on with it then. Well, this is going to take a while. Might as well get started, I suppose. So, this seems pretty normal. Don't. Curtis, it's empty. <sighs> Watch this. A bloody apple. One of you five a day, I guess. Damn. That's finally sliced. And very crispy. Did Norman put a laser grid in the common room? Indeed. So. How do we get through? From what I remember, these are very easy to make, but bloody difficult to break. That's not an answer. I don't know. I'm brainstorming. How does it work? There's one projector in the lamp, and the beam bounces off little and reflectors around the room to create a laser grid. And it somehow avoids all of the furniture. You know, if you look really hard at the grid, there's a small hole in the field that leads to the projector. If we could throw something through it and destroy the projector, that should take down the whole thing, right? Yeah. Sure. Tell me, what object around here are you at least attached to? So, we need something that'll fit through that hole, and that will actually break the projector. That's about the long and short of it. You reckon this will do? Ah, Penny. Through the right power it should. So, who's the better thrower? You ask that like you don't know it's you. Point taken. So, I've got to find the right balance of power and precision, otherwise we're going to need more change. Simples. Piece of cake. Good job. You first. What? Just in case the lasers are still there. Fine. <laughs> oh my god, Curtis! You bastard! That, that wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a tad. I hate you. Oh, uh, no, you don't. Come on. To the corridor. I led a path in the floor. How the hell did Norman install that? Norman dyed it into the carpet with a UV ink, and there's a UV projector hidden in the ceiling. There's also pressure pads under the carpet? So, how does this all work? The letter grid spells out a passcode going down the corridor. You just have to step on the right letters, and you should be able to get across with ease. However, if someone happens to step on the wrong letters, uh-oh, bye-bye. <sighs> I hope my reflexes are up to this. Portraits with laser eyes? What is it with Norman and lasers? Ugh, they're frightfully effective. I assume there's a password for this, then. You'd be right. But none of us know the passcode. For fuck's sake. I'm calling Kieran again. Hello? Damn, Kieran? Uh, sorry, uh. Oh. I've had a couple of bevs. Uh. I've sat on the curb outside. Can I, uh. I can see your corridor. Your head's in the corridor. Um, what's up? Norman set up something that could kill us all. Ah, oh, of course he did. We need a password. Well, Jess is the sort of man who'd leave him to it. Norman would use a password of his own. Still doesn't help me. Fuck, um... I don't know, fella. He's a nerd like Ryan, yourself and Parker, right? Maybe he did something from his favorite show? Thanks. What did he say? He said Norman was a nerd like us. The word could mean anything then. Gallifrey, Sarah Jane, Adipose. Even I know that the word could be anything. Nah, I've got this. What's your thought? Raxacoricophalopatorius. Huh? Raxacoricophalopatorius. 
home planet of the Slitheen, and also a long and complicated word. And how would one spell that? Because I love Doctor Who, but fuck me. How do you spell Raxacorico Fallopatoris? Shit. Let me guess. You can't quite remember, can you? <laughs> Neither can I. Nope. Right, so let's do this as we go along. It obviously starts with letter R. No lasers. Always a good start. A. X. I. C. O. R. I. C. O. F. A. L. Um. How many eyes does it have? Oh shit. One? Are you sure? Sure. One it is. Ready? No! Good. Neither am I. Go! Duck! And again, duck! I was wrong! I was wrong! Uh, there are two L's! Move on to the L! Move on to the L! There's scorch marks on Jason's walls. I'll pay for that. No, you won't. L A P A T O R I U S. Thank God. What was that? So, what's the booby trap here? There isn't one. Huh? Well, there is, but it's not important right now. Not important? It's broken. Norman was going to fix it during Ryan's wedding. What was it? There was supposed to be a high-frequency sound playing that would really hurt your head, leaving you unable to do anything. We never tested it when it was first installed, so I decided it was time a few months ago and blew all the speakers. Right, so we can just walk through this room. Yeah, we can, but the next one's a thinker, and I need food to think. What the hell is that? A priest hole. So, you found a 400-year-old hidey hole in Jason's brand new space fleet and decided, you know what, I'm gonna hide it with... Hang on. Are those onion rings? Help yourself. For what's the next obstacle? And, uh, why do you know? <sighs> I'm a soldier. Or I was. I like to know my way around a building. Anyways, Norman assumed that after this one, we shouldn't need any. There's enough downstairs and upstairs to cover us, so the lab hasn't got one. Plus the fact that it's just too dangerous to have one in there. The door to the cellar will be securely locked by six bolts of five-inch steel. So, how do we get down there? Each bolt has a unique key, and when all six are placed in the slots, if you turn the pin that connects the slots, the bolts should release and the door should open. There's a few traps heading down the stairs as a last resort, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right. So where are the keys? Well, I keep this one in my shoe at all times. The other five are hidden around the lab. Any ideas where? Nah, Norman hit them all. I saw him hide too, but that's it. Damn. Right, hunger satisfied? Let's find some keys. Hello? Curtis, I can't see you now. Where you going? We're in the lab. That explains it. Give me a call if someone dies. Will do. What did he want? You wanted to know if someone dies. Charming. So, you've got key one. A mug. 
Fall spot him. I had the key in it. You see that fridge behind you? With all the bizarre looking chemicals in it? Yep. At the back, it'll have a flask of black liquid. Is that... Pure dark liquid. Something I developed a few years back. No light will pass through it. I use it to dye my curtains. Is it toxic? No. Stick your hand in it. That's free. Yep. Now just to find the other three. Look around, behind, and in anything. They could be anywhere. Anything? <sighs> Nothing. Ouch! You are right? Yeah, one of the legs on the chair is loose. I've been meaning to... Did the chair leg just... rattle? That makes four. Two more to find. I didn't realize it, but posters have been here. Yeah. Samantha loves her movie posters. Isn't that Dead Man's Chest? It is. <sighs> Were they search for a key? Oh my Christ, get that poster off the wall. There it is, number five. One more then. What's on her desk? Pens, mug, foot over mom, monitor, keyboard. Bingo. Guys have got it! Where was it? Duct taped to the underside of her keyboard. I really need to have a chat with her about security. Her password is still probably Wood132, capital W. Wanna do the honors? Hey presto! Just a single staircase down. final trap. What are we looking for here? Don't look, just run. Did you just raid us of the Lost Ark, me? Not now. Once we get to the bottom of the stairs, make a very quick and very sharp right. Got it. <sighs> Curtis, it's getting faster. Just a few steps left. Jump! That was so close. Huh. <sighs> huh. <sighs> Fuse box is over here. <sighs> Sorted. Come on, let's get out of here. You got us beers. Fuck off. What a long damn day. You could say that again. At least we're out now. <sighs> Jason's gonna have to definitely get Norman back to sort all of that out. You're probably right, but... You know, that is our business, hmm? Whew. I'm going to bed. Yeah, definitely me too. Me three? Wait. I've got to get home in a bit. I guess I could watch the game on the Chrysalis. This is the Chrysalis. Let's go.